In this video, we're going to show you how to install the camshaft position sensor on your Ford Explorer located on the driver's side of the engine. We're going to start by removing our air box components here. We're going to use our flathead screwdriver. Loosen that hose clamp there with the throttle body. And then come on over here to the lid on our air box or air filter unit and we want to remove this connector here. Now we're using a mirror right here to look on the bottom side of our sensor here and there's a red lock tab there. We need to go ahead and pull that out. And when we do that, we're gonna go ahead and compress the little tab behind it. Now that we have that red lock pulled out, I'm gonna reach up, press the little tab and slide this off. Here is a little red tab there that we had pulled out. When we reinstall this, we're simply going to push this red lock tab back in to secure it in place. Now we have our wire harness right here. We're going to use our trim tool, pop that button up and out. Now right here, there's a metal retaining clip for the air box lid. Pull that off and there's one just to the side of it here. Pop that one off. Now what I want to do is start to work this off here. Pop the lid off. Now if you follow this back, there's a vacuum hose on the back side right here. I'm going to disconnect that. And before we pop this off completely, we're on the left hand side, there's a vacuum hose. Now to remove this here, you're just going to put your finger underneath and press up. You're going to see that gray tab move and then pull the hose off. Just like that. Pull this off and remove this. Now with the air intake tubes removed on the forward cylinder head, there's two camshaft position sensors. There's one here and then there's one beside it. Now there's gonna be two more on the back cylinder head. You're just gonna access those underneath the throttle body. Now we're gonna use an eight millimeter socket on our quarter inch ratchet. And you wanna go ahead loosen that bolt you're just putting the ratchet between the two radiator hoses and they are flexible so feel free to go ahead and grab that upper hose and just kind of maneuver that up out of the way a little bit now once that's free chances are you can reach down there and just spin it out with your fingers go ahead and remove that bolt set that aside i'm going to reach down here and grab that whole sensor with the harness and just kind of wiggle that out. Now when removing this here, I'm just kind of twisting it and working that out. I'm going to pop this out like so. Now it's easy to do it this way here. Now you can go ahead and disconnect the connector here. I'm going to press down on this tab, pull the connector off of the sensor. There you go. Now when installing the sensor, you wanna pay attention. There's a little rubber O-ring on this here that will be sealing the oil from leaking out. So you wanna make sure that that is clean and clear of any debris. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and reconnect the connector now. We can connect it afterwards. We're gonna go ahead and reconnect ours now. Line that up. Push it on and you can feel it snap into place. And then go ahead and bring that sensor down. Line that up into the cylinder head hole. And go ahead and work that sensor into the cylinder head. Do the best you can to line up that bolt hole. Grab your bolt. I'm gonna lift up on my hose here and get my hand right in there. Get that bolt started. I'm gently going to snug that down. I'm 
Once that bolt bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. Doesn't have to be super tight. Go ahead and torque this down to 7.4 inch pounds. Install our upper air box unit. There's gonna be three tabs on the end here. These need to go into the back side of the air box base. Go ahead and lower down this here. Install your intake tube. Make sure that the intake tube is fully seated all the way around the throttle body with that hose in place go ahead and secure the hose clamp here you just want to snug that down once that bottoms out just give it a couple more turns there you want to make sure that's good and secure go ahead and take that vacuum hose for the back side pop that back on that port we also have our vacuum hose on the side right here. Line that up, push it on. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that snaps into place. Give it a little tug, make sure it's locked on. Don't forget to install or clip your air box spring clips here. Get that back one. Install the sensor. Harness here, push that on. You're gonna feel it snap in and then reach underneath and push that red lock tab back in. And then install the pin right here. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.